Greetings. Oh, Lord. Hi. Oh, hey, D. For once, you're in one of my lives. <laughs> this is not an ad, but this poppy is hitting. You know, life is life and y'all. Hey, Sheena girl. Okay, Texas one time. I'm trying to make it to Texas. I haven't, I've only been for a layover. Hey. Hey, boo. Oh, thank you, Gina. <laughs> for the record, they did send it, though. They sent me a whole package of it, actually. It's over here, but I'm going to take it now. Listen, that strawberry lemonade poppy with some tart cherry juice will change your life. Completely. Completely. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes, we love a poppy. The only one I don't like is the root beer flavor. That, But I don't like root beer in general, so there's, there's that. Was waiting for Cam to get in. Oh, here she is. Thank you, Marge or Mark. That work. I never. Okay. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Child. Oh, yeah. Yes, I was at the agree on Saturday night. Not people saw me outside. It was a crap. <laughs> <laughs> I am good. How are you? Congratulations on the new baby. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, she she's she's with her dad right now. Okay. I was trying to put her down, but she's up. Um she's a mama's girl, so she might possibly have to make like a little cameo. Yes. Come on. So if a baby girl joins us, I warned y'all. It's, <laughs> it's a girl's night. It's a girl, it's a girls night for real you can't help it yes how so how are you feeling being back as a as a new mom back in the game i felt amazing i missed it that's why i came back <laughs> miss child because thank you I, after one or two seasons without you i was like i might need to take a break i'm crying, <laughs> crying. Yeah. i'm crying yeah i missed it like it it was it was how many years was it double agents i think we shot that in like 2020 um so it was like three years or something like that and as you can see it took forever to come out because when i left my first baby was only like eight months and now he's about to be two so that's that's crazy time, that is insane time is, flying. time is flying i feel like time after covid it's been in a portal at this point mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Um, but I just finished the the first two episodes. Oh, did you? Uh, what did you think? Well, well, what's going on with your roommate? Because I was confused with some of that. <laughs> well, when when she when she did like a long speech or something like that, I don't know. That's just how that's just how she is. She like. She can talk. Ayana can definitely talk all day long. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? She okay. can. And I also want to send her some love. I know she was yapping her ears off on the screen, but I do want to send her some love because I know that she is, you know, in the process of overcoming like a health battle and everything. So I do want to, I do want to send her lots of love. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to make, make it too messy or anything, but Ayana can talk. Okay. I'm, okay. <laughs> And I'm sure despite everything she's going through, she go through, she's probably talking, talking, talking. So, but she she is a talker. It's so funny because my dad, he does the same thing. So with Ayana, for me, it was a trigger because I'm like, she remind me of my dad, just like, just, just talking that whole time. And I'm like, please stop. But Lee, he couldn't take it anymore. He was like, what is going on? Surprise, nobody said anything before him. Because anytime somebody tried to, she'd be like, uh, let me finish. Then we'd be like, oh my God, we were this close. <laughs> that is so funny. I how, know. how was it being on there together? Because I know you probably had to leave the sign at the time. And 
Um, I remember Leroy was in retirement for a little minute. Yes, he was. <laughs> so how was that coming back as parents? It was amazing coming back at parents. I talk about it all the time, but with Lee, he had a little bit of a, a postpartum moment. So, you know, everybody always talks about like us women and postpartum, especially, um, but men can experience it too, because a huge part of postpartum is getting adjusted to that huge life change. So men can definitely experience that too. So like, you know how like we can lose ourselves, we can just like get wrapped up into like any and everything else. So he, he definitely had that moment and I'm like, What's more us than the damn challenge? This is where we met. It's that's been so long. Let's do it. No, that are you looking at the Steph London? Yeah, that was me when I had the belly. I saw yeah. one of the comments. <laughs> that is hilarious. No, but that's such an amazing story. I feel like I feel like there's been so many couples that have come from the challenge have that many you know black love stories. So I feel like I love that it's come such full circle for y'all. I know. Oh, it's, it's so crazy because even with me getting on the challenge, like I came from a dating show. So like in the grand scheme of things, I did find my perfect match <laughs> You because know, I really, I wasn't just trying to do that show just to be on TV. Like, you know, like a lot, like a lot of the cast or whatever, but like, I really trusted the process and look where it brought me. So like I did end up finding love through that. So I, I think that that is so cool. You never know what God or the universe might have in store for you. And I'm like, okay, God, like I see, I see what you was doing. So right. I see what you did. Yeah, I see what you did there. Planted that, planted that seed and baby, it grew. Exactly. That's exactly what happened. So let's get into some tea. Because you have done a few different shows and a few different formats at this point. What's been the biggest challenge of them all? Like the challenge on the challenge or the, just like the challenge of the TV shows? The, the show shows. Um, well, currently speaking, the biggest challenge is leaving my, my little babies behind. That's the biggest challenge for me, but um just in general with all my with all the the shows that i've ever done i think i'm a pretty level-headed individual um i've only been on reality tv game competition style shows every show that i've ever done so like i'm pretty good at it i like playing the game aspect of it all so like i look at it as just that i try to not get you know too caught up into the drama of it all you know, maybe it's somebody getting on my nerves. I'm like, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm like, how can I outsmart you and get you out of here? Like, I'm not going to waste my breath. Like, I, let me let me put my brain to work and figure out how to get you out of here. So it's not, it's not too challenging for me in that aspect because I just look at it for what it is, which is a game. But as I said, now, currently speaking, it's just leaving my, leaving my babies behind and everything. But they'll be all right. Right. <laughs> and how long are y'all gone for? So on the flagship show, a, a lot longer. Those shows can take, depending on what kind of format it is, it can take maybe like eight weeks, damn near 12 weeks or something like that. It can take a while for the flagship show, but on the challenge, it has like a lot of spinoffs right. now. So those, they take about approximately like five weeks to film. Okay. And so I'm like, that's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad, yeah. Huh? Are you are you guys allowed to have your phones? Girl, I wish. <laughs> I wish. So the the phone situation works. Um, we get normally a, on the main show we get a ten minute one ten minute phone call per week. Okay. So I'm like, before 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 the kids and just like leaving whoever at home. I'm like, I didn't really care. But now that I'm a mom and with my experience with doing all stars, it was so much better because I got to speak to my baby a few times a week. So I got a few of those 10 minute phone calls, like two to three. Okay. So I was like, okay, even though it's still nothing, I'm like, I still, at least I'm still talking to you a lot more frequently than I would on. Wait, 
Hold on. I feel like it's still, am I on mute? Yeah. <laughs> my phone was trying to kick me off because I set the time limit. So it was like, that's oh. enough Instagram for today. Like, rude. That part. That rude. part. <laughs> yes. So that's what it did. I feel like I don't know if I could do a competition show just because I'd be so stressed out as it is that I'm like yeah. that competitive nature. Even though I love to compete, I just feel like it would stress me out so much of constantly not knowing if you have to go home the next day, if you have to go into elimination, all the politics of it all. How do you deal with that part of it? I mean, it's a few layers of it. It can, like, with, with the challenge, most of all, it is a mental game, but it's a few aspects of it. So if you are, like, one one way is obviously wait cam on mute am i can y'all hear me we can well if you can hear me they can they can hear me All right, i just saw something that said cam on mute so with with being on the challenge right there are a few ways to go about it so you can be a great physical competitor to where your performance is pretty good in a game and like when where you're winning a lot of daily challenges so that's gonna that's gonna keep you safe right if we are just that good, if we are just that legendary and all that, we're just we're just winning all the dailies, right? Um, another way, how I got my nickname, Killer Cam, my first season, they kept throwing my ass in, and I kept coming right back every time when they <laughs> when they threw me in. Um, so you could be good at eliminations. So the with when you're in an elimination, it's like you got one foot in, one foot out the game. So it's like it's it's all or nothing there. But it is it's not is is not like necessarily something that it's something that's commendable, but also it's like, girl, keep your ass out of there. Like don't don't go in there if you don't have to go there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um and then there's the social game, which means you just like have lots of friends. I've always struggled with the with the social game because I'm such a to myself kind of person. You know, I'm not like the type of person where if I if I go in a room, I'm like talking to everybody. But if I do go in a room, I'm going to leave that room with a few, a very few meaningful okay. connections, okay. if that makes sense. So that's the type of person that I am. So with the social game, my social game is very small. And then on the other side of that, the political game, for me, I'm a thinker. So I know you probably heard this quote plenty of times, but I... I look at my political game like I play chess, not checkers. So I'm just, my mind is constantly racing in regards to the game. So I'm just thinking out every move. Okay, if this person wins tomorrow, then the vote's got to go this way. If this person loses tomorrow, we're going to, we're going to, like, I think of every, like, every single possibility and probability, including what kind of plot twists are they, like, you know, could they throw at us? Like what could what could they do? Da, 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 da. So I I think of I think of every single thing. Did you watch the final reckoning? Did you watch that season? Which one was that? It was season thirty two. Well, if you if you didn't watch it, it's okay. It's okay because I, I was gonna say something about a move that I made on there because everybody knows it as like one of like Cam's big gay moves or it's like one of the biggest gay moves on a on a show. I mean I've seen. It every season you're on okay. so I, yeah i've seen it every season. it's the one where i had the i had the braids okay the, yep, 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 so yep. well with that season like i had pretty much did a game move to make every single vote line up exactly how i needed every vote to right. go so only my vote would matter pretty much me and me and kaylee shout out to kaylee i love her sending love to the uk so with with the exactly the move with sylvia so People are like, well, you threw in rookies. Yeah, you threw in Angela and Faith. Right. So the thing is, obviously, if we did not have a redemption house, obviously it would have been, who was Bananas partnered with? It would have been Bananas. Was he Was he with Tony? Bananas and Tony versus, who was the other was it uh, strong team? Oh, like Zach and Amanda or something okay. like that. So if, if there was not a redemption house, we would have thrown in two two of the strongest teams against each other. But since there was a redemption house, why would I throw in, I just, like, why would I throw in 
why would I piss off two strong teams? And it's not even gar guaranteed that the strong teams, that at least one of them would have went home. There was a redemption house. So with us throwing in the rookies, I just mostly did that to just show, hey, I know how to make game moves. Right. Like th the entire point of that was the move and how I kind of outsmarted the house to vote exactly like how I wanted. So the power was in my hand, but yeah, like, so, th so that's what I was thinking of. Like, I'm not about to piss off two of the strongest teams in the house. Um, and it's not even a guarantee that one of them was going home. If it wasn't, and if there was not a redemption house, it, it would have been, it would have looked completely different. Right. But um, I don't think in my interviews, you know, they can only air so much, but I explained all of that in my interviews. But I remember when I made that move, immediately i remember production pulled me to the side and they were like you need to explain to us what is going on because like they were like we like you like come on we're, we're, we, ha we have to do an interview because you have to break down to us what is going on we do not understand it like we know that you have a master plan and when i broke it down to them i just remember when i was doing that interview they was just all like oh my god like how how would you even think of that <laughs> Mine, yes mine just <laughs> who are you still closest with from okay well obviously Leroy what? that was, that was, that was <laughs> obviously obviously Lee um I'm still close I'm still close to a few people like I follow a lot of the challengers that I've competed with for the you know for, for the most part like I look I don't have a problem with with nobody I, mean, I don't have a problem with nobody but talk to in my everyday life mm -hmm. i don't talk to anybody in my everyday life yeah. but um natalie from vendettas her and i we are super close kaylee we are super close and the rest of my castmates like i'm cool with everybody yeah, yeah. Did you have a, we have a question here, which was, have you been watching recent seasons? If so, who is your favorite and least favorite? I have not been watching recent seasons. So I don't, oh yeah, and Bailey. Y'all know I love Bailey. Y'all know I love her. Um, so I have not been watching recent seasons, but some of them I do follow. Um, and my favorite is Narice. I just love her. She's also from Are You the One? Right. She's freaking beautiful, and I just, I just love to root for her. Like that's just my girl. Um, yeah. And I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody that I hate. Um, and then, in regards to everybody else, all the newbies on the show, y'all, you know, don't, don't be mad at me. But I don't, I don't really watch the shows that I'm not. <laughs> that I'm not on, but I'm rooting for my Are You The One Girly, Narice, of course. And, you know, I know she had an amazing first season. Like, she made it to a final. She's <clears throat> she's crushing it. So I'm just, I'm just always rooting for her. <laughs> Period. Who would you say is the most overrated on the challenge? The most overrated? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it depends on what kind of what kind of season they might have had. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because there are so many different formats and it's like sometimes it's like you might you might be stuck with a certain partner. And also I don't I don't underrate anybody. I think that in the challenge there's a culture to where people get called layups or, mm -hmm. you know, people think, oh, this person is gonna be super easy to beat. I, you know, I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, because you, you never know, you never know who, can, <laughs> you never know who can do what. But with the challengers, I think everybody has their strengths and all of that, and we all have our weaknesses too. Fair enough. I think that's fair. Some people might say I'm overrated because it's like, oh, you, you this, but you never want so like you know to each their and own. No, no one ever. <laughs> mm -mm. Absolutely not. <laughs> Taylor, I was like, Cam, the second she came on the seed, like, it was just so necessary. <laughs> it really was. Thank you. So, yes, absolutely. If you could be on any other reality show, what would you be on? Oh, my God. This is the 
it's so funny because I feel like I keep uh, getting asked this question so much and everybody's like, Cam, you need to do traders. Would you do traders? And I'm like, okay, yeah, I would. <laughs> that's, that's one of the ones because I don't really, I don't watch a lot of like game show, reality TV shows like that. Like I just started watching Survivor within the past year. That I would never do. I was just talking about this on TikTok Live. I'm like, First of all, I could barely miss a damn meal, okay? okay. Like, the weight loss would be cute, okay. but I, I can't do it. I literally can't do it, okay? I I would happily drop the, 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 the new baby weight if I could, but I, I do not have the discipline to not eat. If I'd be on Survivor, I'd be like, send me home, y'all. Boat me out. Just okay. blow my damn fire out. Do it to, <laughs> Book me the next flight and bring me lots of snacks on, on the way back to the hotel because I wouldn't be able to do it. No, um, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Either. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I can't. I don't. I can barely do the cell phone thing. I don't think. Okay. I'm, I'm on TikTok University every night, <laughs> learning how to, how to refurbish coach bags and whatnot. Like, Period. That's, that's me time. Exactly. Come on now. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, I feel like traders would be a really good look for you. We got to get that. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun because I think no matter what side of the game that I would be on, I would, I would try to be super strategic. But I think so. Did wait, did you watch both seasons of The Traders U.S.? Yes. yes. So I think now that because they call the people that were on game shows the gamers. So right. I think that just watching it from a viewer standpoint and also somebody that's been on those shows. I think that moving forward in those shows, it's you, like we will definitely see like two different alliances, like the non-game show people versus the game show people, because on both seasons, we had a survivor winner, then we had the challenge winners and the challengers, don't get me, don't get me started. And they were faithfuls and to, to how they did that move in the end, they was like, look, we, we going to split this. Yep. I was like, I was like, okay, I see what y'all yeah. did. I, I see what y'all did. So I think that, yeah, it's it, w it would be tricky to go in on there now as a gamer. Yeah. Would you want to be a traitor or a faithful? I don't know. I would I would be open to being either yeah. one because, yeah, I would be open to being either one. Like, if I, if I was a faithful, I'd be able to sleep at night. I already yeah. know what my strategies would be. I'm not even going to say them right here on the live just in case that happens right. someday. But... I already got the strategy figured out <laughs> for what, for whatever side that I'd be on. I'm a terrible liar too, so I don't know how I would be if I was to be a trader. But I already got a strategy for for whatever I would be in the game. Period. <laughs> I also love to see because, like, obviously on the challenge, y'all don't y'all can't really be putting that shit on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we can't get any fits like that other than the green screen. So I would love to see your fits you know what i'm period I mean, like that with your hair like i would love to see that side <laughs> me um, and my hairstylist were just talking about this and i'm like like how do how do they do the the interview looks because i'm like ain't no way phaedra did her own hair like what's what's going on honey so i told him i'm like listen if i get the call you're coming with me we're going to scott period period like yeah you'll be coming with me because that makeup is a little bit too late sometimes when they, when, when they walk in the room and the hair is a little bit too late. I'm like, ain't no way y'all know how to do y'all's own hair and makeup that good. Right. So, so yeah, I, I would love to deliver the looks. It's so funny. I was just talking about this on live, how I hate every single one of my cast photos that I've ever, that I've ever done. Cause something was wrong. That The outfit was wrinkly. The wig wasn't late enough. The lace done slipped off. Something the wig girlies know. If y'all on here, y'all, y'all get it. But it was just, whoo, it was just ghetto, okay? So that's the thing about, that's the thing about the challenge. And I'm like, I can't believe I did so many seasons wearing wigs. Boy, am I brave. I was going to ask you that. How did you maintain? Let me, let me, let me tell you how. Wig glue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> lot, lot, lots of this. Okay. Hairspray. Braid. Lots of that. <laughs> down it's giving super glue it's giving gorilla glue it's giving, it's no. giving gorilla glue oh. <laughs> that grip that okay that's those swimming seeds forget it Blind like, I'm surprised yeah i've done you know how many times i done dropped in the water wig wig was still laid helmet okay. off wig still secured i was like okay we okay. did that 
I, like I'm, I'm like I'm an influencer, and I'm surprised I ain't never got like none of the the the, the wig companies reached out because are y'all not watching what what we're watching? I I don't think so. No, because where are the deals? Where where are the deals at? That's what I'm uh -huh. saying. That's what I'm saying. Come on, it's it's all good. But what did you think about the backlash that Trishel got during Traders? What was the backlash that she got? They were just mad at her for the ending and kind of switching up on it, and then MJ being, you know. Okay. Um. Dust. I don't blame Trishel. I don't. But so all right. So let me rewind it a little bit. I think the real real genius was ct i think him and trishel they've been cut a deal like hey let's get to the to the end and it's gonna be us too that's the first thing i think when c i think ct saw the perfect opportunity to vote sandra out when he did so he kind of switched up a little bit just because he's a genius and he knew that if they would have all gotten to the finale it would have probably been hard to get sandra out um and i think he didn't talk to Trishel about that which made her look at him sideways like hold up like with this kind of game we like we need to be on the same page and you just put some funny stuff right when it came to the finale now I think she was rightfully confused at first at first I did feel bad for MJ because I was like oh oh my gosh like we all knew she was a faithful and they did her like that however I think she just showed up to the yeah. final she didn't use any strategy at all because how i feel is obviously like they're writing their names on the chalkboard right so trishelle has the longest name there Fact. two people have the shortest names there so if i was mj i, I like obviously ct wrote down a two-letter name right. which is her name which right. is mj's name obviously ct did not write down trishelle Trishel wrote down a two letter name because she, you know, like it, it, it was, it could only be two letters that she's writing down. So I think that MJ should have just tried to be smart a little bit. Like, all right, they clearly are in an alliance. And she wrote down two letters. Let me, let me do this too. So she had her chance. The fact that she fumbled the bag like that, yeah. I was like, yes, it's like you, you plan with people that, that really like play games for a living and you wasn't really thinking so i was like you she fumbled the bag she that definitely fumbled the bag um but i think that i want to say that ct was the genius and it was his master plan at the end and think about it in all them challenges he was the only one putting in all that work and everybody and else was just laying on. around and i think he was like man like i'm really about to get this right. money like f y'all y'all aren't doing anything even the last challenge he he went all the way over there to yeah. get that money and they still made it to the ship so i was like yeah he he ate he ate with that one yeah he ate <laughs> i have a crush on ct uh, you I do yeah yeah i heard he is single now but okay now wait a minute let me find okay. him. if if that is your type i i see you <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't have a type i'm an okay opportunity person like i just like grown-ass men you know what i mean okay like as as long as you can be in your masculine, I could comfortably say grown in age or within aura, just like in energy. In energy, you know what, you. what I mean? Like I like a guy's guy. Oh, okay. You like the alphas in a toxic way, in a healthy gentleman way. I got you. I feel. I feel. Well, so well, I haven't gotten a chance to watch your show like that. Um, last night I did catch like a little trailer moment and I caught um, the end of it. But what's your experience been like on the vineyard? Like how, how has it been? So it's interesting because for the most part, we all came in friends and knowing each other. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so it's like an extended foundation is already there. Like it's not like we're just popping up and like we just are developing friendships just from the show um and so because of that foundation it makes things a little complicated because it's like we're dealing with people we really care about and that are a part of our everyday lives got it um, so it's like a little dysfunctional family reunion basically yeah okay definitely check it out i sure will you know we need we need our support we're one of the 
only young, you know, all black shows. So I absolutely will. I absolutely will. That's why I'm like, I was, I was so happy to even do this, what we're doing right now. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like, and as I said, I caught a little, a little um, sneak peek and everything. So I'm like, all right, I'm so here for that. Yes. So here for that. And also in the, in the trailer I saw, and like, like you said, you had alopecia and everything. Yeah. Okay. Like, I know that's right. Like I'm well, I'm happy that you are able to be a face for that. And you you get what I'm saying? Like giving representation to that community because my little sister, she's had alopecia since she was like four or five years old. Yeah. So like I'm totally familiar with that and everything. So I'm like, okay, I know like it I just think representation is is so important. If, so I was like, all right, that that's I, dope. That's cool. To you know, to see you doing you, to see like real emotions and you know, you still thrive in no matter what. So just quick shout out to that. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I no idea how much alopecia impacted people. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. Oh, the show is called Summer House Martha's Vineyard. It's on Bravo, Peacock. <laughs> um, and so many men, too, you know? Yeah. Messages, and I was like, damn, we've just been out here suffering in silence and nobody said anything? Yeah, I know. And you know what? Even with, with my little sister having it, I was, like, I'm so happy that, you know, well, like, she, she's always been super comfortable in her skin. But I remember when she was young, and I was like in high school and I'm like, I wonder what her experience would be like. And I'm so happy that we are in the day and age where, you know, wigs are where, where they are today and everything. And I'm like, okay, like, look at, look at you just looking all laid and everything like that. But even, even though she can like look laid with all of that, you know, we still encourage and empower her to like love herself right. with, you know, her own natural beauty. So I, I totally get it. And you know, the, the, the struggles and the things that it can come with, so. Oof, thank you, child. I, uh -huh. I really like that because it, it definitely is tough. Um, and you know, like I was wearing wigs and stuff like that before, but having necessity was a whole different can of worms. And uh -huh. it's something I'm still learning how to do. I'm still trying to figure out how to go to the gym and, and be cute and not sweat everything out. I, I gotta get that glue from you after this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's giving. Oh my um, god, god! Listen, no, the gym, the gym is a struggle because, like, are y'all, y'all, are y'all about to see these straight backs? I definitely be having the straight backs in the locker room because even now with me being postpartum and I'm like, I want to get back in the gym. I love to do a little steam room after every workout. I'm like, this, this ain't gonna work. It's right. gonna, it's gonna slide back. And look, I'm working with two scoops under here anyway, so I'm like, what? <laughs> y'all want to see the braids or what? Like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh, uh, this is a wig. Oh, it's cute. Is she? Lit? Yeah. Well, I so I had put these heatless curlers in, and the curls. They let me show you. They're just doing their own thing. So I was trying to figure. Like it, they just won't stay out of my face. Okay. I, I was, actually like I was going for blowout, but I'm like, all right, yeah, it's just get get out my damn face. So I kind of just like Back. pushed it over. Here, I was just trying to do something with it. They were not behaving, so I'm like, all right. I like that. This is this is decent. <laughs> Where'd you get her from? Um, so my friend Laura, she has um she's doing a collaboration with Wow African. So this is like a relaxed straight texture okay. from Wow African from my friend um Laurasia Andrea. She's like she's a OG YouTuber baddie. So like if y'all see her, y'all would definitely know exactly who she is. But like her her line, her wig is freaking fire. I love it. It's so bomb. I actually need to send her a picture and show her that. Hey, I finally got her installed. <laughs> no, that looks, yes. looks very natural. Thank you. Thank you. My my stylist did that. Devo. He 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 did that. He always takes care of me. Period. He, he does that. Period. She's late. I do remember Lorisha. Um, someone asked, do you still have your brand? Oh, no. Mm -mm. no. <laughs> After I had the first bit, because I had my own hair. Wow, Africa. Wow, African. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, so I'll, I'll tag her. At, I'll tag the wig and, and all of that. I'll, I'll put it in my stories because they're asking in the comments. Um, but no, so I did have my own wig company, Camp Collection. And um, yeah, I had, to, I had to stop. I think I was just like biting off more than I could chew. Yeah. 
Um, and most importantly, it was just me. Right. So I, I was not only just pregnant, but at a really good place within like my little influencing career. And then I had the hair company. So like after I had my baby, it was just like, look, obviously I have to give a million percent when it comes to me being a mom. And then I had to ask myself like, all right, girl, you, you got to choose right. me being, you know, like me influencing could be very successful or me having my own business could be very successful. Now, now that we got that figured out, are you trying to start from the ground up with your, with your hair company? Because that was one of the reasons I stopped doing the challenge because I'm like, I want to, you know, I want to get my hair company up and running. And every time I would go film, my website would be shut down because I'm the one that's doing everything by myself. Right. So I, I just, I couldn't do it. So listen, to this day, I'm still just like looking for a team, <laughs> you know, it is, it is not fun or a flex doing things on your own. Like you could be successful on your own, but you'll never make it to where you could make it without a team of people. So I'm still trying to find my dream team. It's, it's in my prayers because I got some things I want to do in, in this little life. And I'm not going to be able to get it done without my team. You need somebody. Do you have? Do you have an assistant at least? Girl, girl, no. What? I I don't. I don't like because I'm a very particular person, and I need. The thing is, like, not only are you coming in my home, like you'll be around my children, like so. It's like you you gotta be the one. I'm very funny with energy. You get what I'm saying? Like we gotta be, like locked in, and also, ironically, like even with having an assistant like i'm not necessarily trying to find somebody that i could tell them everything what to do right. i need somebody that already got it figured out and they're like hey girl like no you need to be like i need somebody to boss me around and keep me on my toes that part um and i'm not trying to like i want you to already come to the table just having a basic understanding of certain things i'm not hey this is how you do this hey let me teach you this like not that we can't teach each other stuff but like no like you need to you need to bring something to me yeah and i have that person no i'm the same way and it's so hard and everybody's always like get an intern it's like but kim said ain't nobody want to work these days and she's not lying they mm -hmm. don't work in they it don't want to it is you it, know it is hard it's it is so hard yeah to find like a great a great team or your person and as you say you know, nobody a lot of people don't want to put in in the work these days like which is which is crazy yeah you get what i'm saying so yeah like alignment is super important um and the thing is i would have an intern but the thing is like you got it you got to be hungry you got to want it you get what i'm saying like so i went to this um so adrian by loan she like she was doing like a, a little pop-up tour for her brand and she's you know we all grew up on her like yeah. she she delicious she's in 3lw like she huge inspiration if you are a millennial especially a 90s baby millennial um and so i went to her pop-up because obviously she's always been an inspiration, but especially in this season of my life, she's just been a super huge inspiration, especially because of like the team that she has around her, even where she is now within her career and her path, she wouldn't be there without the team that she has right now. So I went to her pop up because like, I, I wanted to just see that team at work and like what, what came together of it all. And I was just like, Ooh, I can't wait to have that someday. But like in, in my own version of that. Right. So I'm like, Ooh, God, God, do you hear, do you okay. hear me? Like I'm hear vocalizing me. it, saying it out loud. So I'm praying for that. So y'all send me some positive vibrations with that. Sending all the vibes. <laughs> I'm all manifest the same thing so we're gonna prayer and manifest that together what? right here right now are you at the same place too come on now like i have people that help me and that are great but it's like you you can't expect them to do everything if it's not their job job you know what i mean absolutely great friends that support me in the best way that they can but in terms of somebody day in and day out really like grinding side by side no I know, but that's why you have to, and what, what Adrian's advice was for me, it was so funny at her event. Like it was like, she had the, the Q and A portion and then she was like, all right, y'all, we're going to do the last three questions. And I'm over here like, all right, girl, think of a question. So the last girl asked her question. I was like, wait, I got, I got one more. Like, I, I swear it'll be quick. 
so I just asked her for some advice about like how did you how does she know that her assistant was the one in regards to building a team and her advice for me was you can't pay for somebody to care and and that that's the missing piece for me like it's one thing I could hire anybody right but do you really care about me and where I'm trying to go and are you really trying to like to do this ride together like do you really believe in me and my vision and what I got going on um you get what I'm saying like that that's what it's about so like that's the person that I'm praying for like hey like I see you I know where you headed let me help you get there and of course you'll be taken care of right you get what I'm saying but it's like you also have to prove yourself okay. you also have to prove yourself so so that that's what I got and you know my family has all that that's been a quote in my family my whole life like you can't buy money cannot buy right. love you cannot pay for somebody to care you can't pay for somebody to genuinely love you money can't buy love if somebody like love love is something that you can't buy I don't know no other way to to say that's that. true so and mm -hmm. your, your point like that belief and believing in something that's not necessarily there just now is everything you got to have that faith. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, especially for us, which is something else I wanted to talk to you about was, you know, being black women in this reality space. What's your experience been? Um, so I think that since Are You The One, I remember my first show, I'm going to take out all the way back. I remember, um, you know, when like, a, like my main drama on the show because I guess like I ended up in like a, a love triangle or something. Hi Trey. Um so when when the, the main drama broke out, like I remember the cameras were there and it was like all right, this is the moment where Cam is about to go off. We're about to get a good T V moment and da 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 right. and I didn't because I'm like that's just that's just not me. Like I'm I will never give you this. I think that a lot of the times being a black woman in reality TV no offense to this show but they're expecting love and hip-hop out of everybody <laughs> you get what i'm saying and i'm and i'm so not that and i think that's one of the reasons why i like people receive me so well on the on the challenge right. you get what i'm saying because even the women that looked like me on the show who came before me i don't think that they they did it like i did like okay she's she's smart she's pretty good at um competing and she can make big game moves right. and i'm i'm very much of a girl's girl as well so i like i came in the game like girls can make big moves too and like it's, right. it's such a male dominated game um but with being a black woman in reality tv and it's it's a little bit different i would say from my show and your show because would you say that the demographic that watches your show it's more so like is it more of like a black audience because i think with the the challenge most of, like we have a very diverse audience but the the black people are not the majority of the audience i would say we mostly have like a white audience which is nothing wrong with that yep but like do we do we have a different audience that watches our show like is yours like we, mostly black viewers or is it like a little bit of everybody diverse um audience as well like bravo is mostly you know the gals and the gals. Yeah, yeah. They are mostly white. Um, there is a good black following, but yeah, the majority is um, pretty diver diverse. It's pretty diverse. Well, that, yeah, that's that's really cool, and it's it's so crazy because I I sometimes feel like it like in regards to reality TV or how do how do I say this? Sometimes. I don't know what, what am I trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you ever? Um, I don't know, cause I watched. I've been watching for so long, and I remember when there was a situation with Leroy who handled sh shit like a G, quite frankly, and for Jen as well. Um, because a lot of you brain. know are white. Um, mm -hmm. gotten more diverse as the years have come but like do you think that ever played a role in how some of the votes went or in how some of the circumstances went behind the scenes and on screen um i what i can say is how i've always been 
on a challenge, I've always tried to be the representation that I want to see. Mm. So like obviously when I came to the challenge, it, it was it was not a lot of people that looked like me, but I've all I've always made it very known in my interviews, whether they aired it or not, like I want to see a black challenge winner. Yeah. Like blackity black black. Right. <laughs> Don't let the wigs fool you. I'm talking about like I want to see somebody with 4C hair win. That is what I've always specifically said. So I've always tried to to be vocal about that representation, even with even with Hispanic people, because that's another minority too. Sometimes people think things are just so black and white, but I'm like, no, I want to see an Asian winner. I want to see a, a Hispanic winner. Like I want I want to see it all. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that not necessarily that like I'm a token or nothing like that, but it's like, I want to make sure that my voice is heard and that my people are represented. Yeah. That my people are represented and other minorities as well, Absolutely. you know? So even, even on my show, not that I'm, I'm just like supporting these people because of that, but it's like, it would be amazing to see a Norris win or a Nani win. Like I want to see that representation. Yeah. Like I, like I want to, I want to see, people who I grew up around one, not that I've known these people in real life before the challenge or something like that, but like, like I, I want to see that representation because it, it's like, it's just the same old thing. You get what I'm saying? Or even representation of a black woman like me, yeah. you know, that's not the, the, the love and hip hop stereotypical black woman in reality TV, because we are, we are so much more than that. We have so many different types of, personalities and experiences than than all that so i think that it's important to see that kind of representation absolutely come on now we just went to church yes yes <laughs> it, it it i'm waiting for that moment i really want to see some more diverse winners too um and i might have to tap back in because <laughs> i had out of the loop for the last couple seasons because i feel like i i kept seeing a lot of stuff on twitter about last season on the flagship so i gotta i might have to tap back in for that one okay um but i'm just yeah I, i'm ready for some female too some some more female winners absolutely. i want some diversity yeah absolutely i, I listen I, I that's something i've always been been super vocal on and it's something i think a lot of a lot of the people that watch the show that connect with me like we we connect on so many levels and and that's one of them because like I, I want to see it for everybody. That's just the type of girl that I am. And speaking of the of the last flagship, can I vent for like two seconds? Please do. So I think it was like battle of of the new champion, right, y'all? Y'all. Okay, we gon' we gonna talk. <laughs> Tell me, shouldn't it have been if we're doing battle for a new champion? Why what? Why would they not? put all of the the long time faces on there that never won right you get what i'm saying this all right look we we gonna do a clean sweep we gonna get some new rookies and we gonna we gonna give it to one of them like no i like there there's some ogs in the game that i wanted to that i wanted to see win. like i wanted to i want to see anisa win i want to see me get a win i want to see lee get a win i want to see nani get a win Absolutely. it's it's like so many like put put kyla in there kyla's <laughs> kyla's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> throw kyla in there even um Polly. i'm thinking of all the people that i've played with tony time put him in there um kaylee bring her ass back sylvia amanda like it's so many people that i would have wanted to see on a season who never got that yeah. win for for a battle of the new champion season Corey exactly for you know like to win on a new season I thought that 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 would have ate period I, okay I, I, that, I, I, you could you could sprinkle in some of the rookies throw Narisa's ass in there too okay Th sprinkle in right. some of the new people too that have never won but I would have loved to see that casting opportunity and I get it a lot of us you know the even if they would have called us, we would have said no to where things were in life. But y'all could have came up with a different theme until, um, until we was all ready. Something. So I mean, I just had to get that off my chest and vent because I'm like, y'all, y'all missed a huge mark with that because obviously, that that kind of theme will probably never come back around. But I thought that they for that specific theme, it could have been so many obvious better casting choices. 
free. Me being one of okay. them. But yeah. Would you go back to the flagship? Uh, probably not, because I got two kids uh, now. <laughs> that's a probably not. Uh, it's, too, it's too damn long. Yeah. It's too long. long. But I think there's so many other, like, spinoffs. Yeah. There's so many other spinoffs now, because there's, like, the, the CBS one. There is the World's one. And then there's All Stars. And All Stars was really fun. Yeah. All Stars was really fun. But, yeah, the, the flagship, I've, ha I've had enough. Yeah. I've had enough. Well, it's all not hitting like it used to. Like, I miss when y'all would have, remember when you'd get, like, little challenge wins? Like, the little Burger King checks or, like, some people right. get a Like, I miss those things. Me too. You know, and I feel like it's gotten so intense. And I feel like some of the um, finale episodes, I'm like, I don't want to see y'all running. This isn't entertaining. Where's the food at? Where's the helicopter <laughs> jumping? Where's the out of boats and things like that's the type of vibe i want to see i know i know and i'm not gonna lie like i will like i started the challenge at season 31 vendettas i think it was back in like 2017 or something like that which is insane but i will just never forget the feeling of that time like what what a freaking time that was and y'all know what i'm talking about because we all watched it and experienced it and felt it. And that's why people are like, man, we miss yeah. it. We miss certain faces. It was like, it was just such an amazing time. And that's why it's really so important to live in the, live in a moment. Cause it's like, even, even, even just like looking back at it now, I wish I could tell myself, even though I already was like, just soak on to every little second, every little minute. Cause you never know when it'll be over. Not that it's over for me, but I, I can never rewind the clock to how many years ago? Back to when I was like 22. I can never rewind the clock to, to, to be that again or to, to bring it back to that specific point in time. But wow, like what a ride that was. <laughs> uh, listen, and I feel like you went on a, out on a bang too, because the last season you did was when you were partnered with Kyle, right? Um. So well, Kyle was my partner for a part uh, for a portion of it, but the, the the last season I did before this All Stars it was Double Agents, and you know, all right, well, I I don't think I've ever said this, but on Double Agents, so y'all remember when I think it was Amber B and Big T that did the hall brawl in the end, right? Yeah. So for for that, I was gonna go down there and go against Amber B. Okay because I wanted CT to end up with Big T because because that's who his partner would have been going into the final, right? right? And I remember, but I couldn't because my back was hurting. That's the only reason I didn't go down. Like, mm. like I've had a, like I had a bad back. It was acting up that night. I remember I was talking to Lee, telling him that he's like, babe, like you're back. Like you're already safe. You're already going to the final. Like don't, don't mess up your back more than it already was. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. Um, not that, I, blah, 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 blah. so what, that's what I wanted to do. Also, um, when Lee ended up with Nani, I was going to tell him to pick Amber actually, because it was, it was two couples going into the final. So it was Casey, Nani, Cam and Lee. So I thought that it would have been cool if, if all of the couples were separated, so no matter what, one of our households took something home. Does that make sense? Yeah. So Leah's on a separate team, I'm on a separate team. You know, Leah and Nani are like this. So if Nani's household is going home with something, amazing. Right. <laughs> you get what I'm right. saying? And if if mine was amazing. So that's how I also that's how I also wanted to 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 do it. But it, you know, it didn't go my way. But that, that shows you how my mind thinks, like how much of like a chess player I am. Because I I remember when he was asked, like, should I choose Nani or Amber? Nani or Amber? Then I'm like, this is your last season. It would be really cool if you got to run it with your best friend. And like, what if you and Nani won? Right. How like much of a full circle moment would that have been? So it's like, you know, like they started their reality TV journey together. And I was like, this would be an iconic epic way if y'all were to end your tv journey 
like this with you know you're retiring and if you and nani were were to win so i'm i i supported it either way but that was like what happened in what is it called in the what is, is it called the megaverse the the what, from avengers i really have mom brain what is it oh. called the alternate universe yes what is it called on avengers damn matrix <laughs> Not the matrix. Damn, what is it called? The crap. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Can somebody can somebody comment it? Damn, what it was uh crap. Multiverse, multiverse. The multiverse. The freaking that's what happened in the multiverse. One of our households took some money home. Right. But I all thought right. that's yeah, that's all that's all it's in the multiverse. Thank you. Thank you guys. The mom brain is real. If that wasn't your dose of birth control for today i don't know what was because you just lose your memory <laughs> randomly for everything <laughs> Can i take home second place um me and corey did me and corey did okay me and, and corey did <laughs> i remember lee crossed the finish line before me and corey and um tj was like all right leroy second place right. and they was like no because me and corey <laughs> i'm like uh tj was rooting for lee so bad and everybody's like, why didn't you let your man win? This was his last season. I'm like, because I'm trying to go home with some money too. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he done took a, a couple of dollars home before coming to second right. place. This is my turn. I never won nothing in a in a challenge final before. This this money's going to my account. <laughs> and I, the, and <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> no, no, but that was such a great season. I feel like that was a really good way to like close that out in that space for sure absolutely yeah. but look but look at us we back listen once that baby dropped i'm like yeah we th things changed about the network babe we, right. we need to run that okay day. why not <laughs> why not i mean and especially to your point with the shorter version and all the spin-offs yeah more feasible for sure yeah because back when i started the only other spin-off was champs versus sars um which i did and I was the first one eliminated on that, which I think it was, it was probably the best because I feel like everything was just like moving so fast at that time. But I, I didn't really understand like the the social game of it all. So that's what threw me out. That's what threw me out the game. I didn't really understand like, okay, girl, this is how you actually got to play it. So me rewatching Vendettas and then it, it made me be able to go into Final Reckoning a lot more strategic. Because, right. yeah, Chance versus Stars, I, I had no idea what was going on. I'm like, wait, what? How do, how do you how do you play this? Da, 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 da. I thought I would have been just good in eliminations or something, but it was like, uh, no. <laughs> That's Brooke Hogan, sis. Take your ass home. Get ready for the next challenge, okay? <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. That girl is strong. You don't know who her daddy is. Like, yeah. But that was fun. At least I, I get to say I did that. Okay. I mean, hey, you still had it up on top. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Because some of these people have gone out bad. Bad and sad. Period. I feel like they cannot. That's one thing we cannot say about you. <laughs> at all. Thank you. At all. And so, all right, so how, so what is your experience like? being on your show with like, how, how's the audience feeling you? Are you a fan favorite? Are you misunderstood? How are things going for you? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I think everything's always going to be up and down. You're always going to have lovers. You're always going to have haters. I haven't seen much hate in this live though. So I must've done well last night. Um, Yay. <laughs> but it's challenging. You know what I mean? Because people think that you, they really know you. And when you think about it, there's about 10 of us on the cast at any given point. Okay. It's a 45 minute show. That means we each get about less than five minutes a week for y'all to see how we are. And so that part is definitely challenging for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Certain reactions, certain things to your point in edit, they can't make it. It just can't make it. And so sometimes the story isn't being told in how it was actually lived. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that part can be hard because then people aren't seeing your whole self or your whole side. Got it. Um, 
Um, but overall, you know, I, I was out the other day and people said hi and they were so nice and they, they were, we talked for a while. Um, there's a lot of couples that watch our show, which surprised me. That's cute. I could see, I could see that. I could see that. Like, babe, let's watch this. Right. And look, y'all about to have another couple that's going to watch the damn show too. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So we're trying to, we're hoping for a little reunion. We haven't done a reunion yet um, as a cast. And so hopefully we'll get that season three. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm wishing 10 seasons on y'all. Okay. okay. Seriously, because we need it. Like, and I, I love the look of the cast. Yeah. No. Okay. Now, one thing about us they cannot say is that we don't look good, child. Period. And we Period. we got our outfits together. We keep it cute. We keep it classy. We have some fumbles in there from time to time. But overall, I feel like it, it is a really good representation of of us. And like it does shed a different light than a love and hip hop or you oh, know yeah. what's going on on Tubi and and damn uh what's the other one? Zeus. You talking about Zeus? <laughs> yeah yeah like that's a little you know oh a little different, which respect to them also but no, yeah i love it because it, it shows it shows black people in a different light right which i love you get what i'm saying it's not that there isn't gonna be certain moments because the, the little part that i caught last night it was like everybody was just crying at the damn yeah. bar and i'm like okay this is Everybody was just getting the tears out, just crying, right. and I'm like, okay, this is this is cute. Like we we are in touch with our emotions, and it's like, yo, you triggered me. I'm like, okay, there. I I like to see it, yeah. you get, because it wasn't like f you. It was just like, yo, like I'm trying to heal, and da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, this is cute. This is this is really cute. So I was I was here for that. Yeah, and that's like it was like a definitely a therapeutic dinner. It say. was. <laughs> um, but. I I, to your point, yeah, it's really nice to show that there's other stuff going on and that we may be more relatable to people than they even realize. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. different type of community that I feel like hasn't really been tapped on that much. And as a network, you know, the most of the talent is white. Mm -hmm. You have Homic, you have, you know, Atlanta, you have Mary to Medicine, but they are like very... I don't know what the word is. Like, obviously, they're all very. Y'all are way more relatable, obviously. To a different yeah. group of people. Different group of people. Yeah. I haven't been in our mansions and our diamonds and doing. The thing. Yeah. Of course, that's the goal. But it's nice to see a working group of younger black professionals, for sure. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I love to see it. Yeah. So, do you actually, like, does everybody actually, like, live up there? No. So, we go there for two weeks out of the summer um but a lot well, of filming is only for two weeks two and a half weeks that's it the crap and how many episodes y'all get out of that this year we got nine okay I'm hoping to go back i'm hoping for 12 well mm -hmm. because we've been going through it every day and half of it can't even make it i'm like see this is why it doesn't make sense oh we my god now. Um, yeah but yeah so we mostly live in New York. Like I live in New York. We got some Texas, um, some LA vibes, and one of my friends, Shanice, she's in Tampa. So, and then we got DC. So we're kind of all over, spread out. Oh, oh, okay. I've always wanted to go there. Yeah, I've always wanted to, to go there to visit. No, you should go. So, you definitely should go. Yeah, there's just says, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's just a pain to get there. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a pain. You gotta. How you get there? Up a bus a plane and all, everything oh wow okay so it's like a road trip so leave the kids at home I, I mean, it's definitely kid friendly now is, is it okay Travel, I'm thinking all the traveling i would have to do a lot it's a lot <laughs> okay. go to boston then you have to go yeah it's a lot okay okay it's oh lot. oh my gosh okay well someday it's still on my bucket list it's not at the top but it's it's on there because i've always wanted to go there Definitely being on the East Coast, you would have, you would think I've I've been to more of the East Coast, but I've never been there. I hadn't been before the year like year before we started filming was the first time I'd ever been. I had no idea there was so much Black history in Martha's Vineyard, like no clue. I thought it was just you know another Hamptons or Nantucket or something, um, with their little Nantucket Martha Vineyards Vineyard vines like 
I had no idea. So that's been really rewarding too, is highlighting such a special place to black history. So a 28 year old female chemist and I really, Oh, see, look, you got chemists oh. relating to y'all. I know that. That's yes. right. Yes. Yes. And that's what I feel. She said, I'm in, I've been in New York city. I haven't been either. Yeah. It's hard to get to. It's, it's hard to get to. And they used to have like a little, um, ferry that I don't think they run anymore that goes directly from New York City to Martha's Vineyard. I don't think, I don't think they do it anymore. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, just, just fly there, y'all. Just take a little plane. Save yourself the headache. It's a small plane, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a little, it's like a little puddle oh. jumper. Okay. It's, it's definitely giving seat plane. And the first, this time we were there, it was shaking. Oh yeah. my God, Gary! But but you, you know, like all the stuff that's been happening with airplanes lately too. I'd be scared. No, and I just finished um, Manifest. Have you seen? Uh, yes. Well, I I didn't finish it. Oh, I didn't finish it because I didn't really like where it was going. Because I'm like, all right, now nah, this don't make no damn sense. Yeah. At first, I was like, ooh, like what's about to happen? And I'm like, this don't make no damn sense. Right. I'm, I'm changing shows. Yeah, they lost it's me for a. So week. hard to find a good show. That isn't messing up. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited for. Um, did Bridgerton come back out yet? I don't think so, but it should be soon. It should be soon. I'm into BMF and like Power right now. Mm -hmm. I fell off after a, a Power after Ghost died. Yeah, so that's a long. <laughs> that was a long time. It's all the new ones, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I just, I couldn't keep up with it all. But it's it's hard to find a good show sometimes, man. Raising Can is so good. It's like I it, bet it is. It's, I, it's so good. <laughs> strong female lead, which I love, and she's so badass. Okay, she would give you one liners for days. So I love that. What Be about the other show? Um, crap. And the guy is from the UK. Which one was that? It's like I think it's one. Of of those like drug shows but like the main actor he's black but he's really from the uk the wire no <laughs> no damn uh cr this is the mom brain again like it's so bad snowfall yes thank thank you thank you i haven't tapped into snowfall yet i heard it's really good good That's i want to watch i do want to watch snowfall and i do want to watch scandal because i've never watched those two what mm -hmm. scandal See, no spoilers. Don't tell me I'm no spoilers. Not, but scandal. I'm. You're gonna have to tell me what you think because I have roller coasters with that. I went back and eventually watched the ending, but I'll be curious to see what you like. I always loved um, How to Get Away with Murder, but they acted a hot mess as well. I I I stayed with it because I was I was committed, but in the end, I'm like, y'all getting on my damn nerves. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all get on my nerves. But all right, the show I'm watching for like the third or fourth time within like, when did I start watching it in Kingston's pregnancy? So since 2022 is Game of Thrones. Oh, that yeah. show is on repeat. Like that was a very well-made show. I have a whole group chat based on Game of Thrones. Like I, so I just, I just got Reddit. And I'm I'm strictly just in the Game of Thrones chat and Reddit because I like yeah when I watch Game of Thrones I pause it like after every conversation and I Google it or I Reddit it to dissect yeah. it that's that's how I am so yeah if I'm watching something and I think that's why sometimes it's so hard for me to watch shows because I'm a dissector Same. and I have to dissect like every single like what did he mean when right. he said when he said that one comment like. What what did that mean? Where did it stem from? Like that that is yeah. how I am. Yeah. But yeah, game game of thrones. I'm the same way, except I get my feelings hurt when I do that because then I see things that are spoilers without intending to. So my first run with watch um watch that was with Game of Thrones was I accidentally watched the last episode first of the first season. On Game of Thrones? Why would you do that? I don't know how it happened. Remember how HBO used to like be backwards and like you'd have to scroll all the way to the first episode for whatever reason. It just oh, no. on 10. So I already knew Ned was gone. I was so sick. Um, so you, you were watching them in reverse. 
Yes, I was so mad. Khaleesi done lost her man. I was like, what's going on? All right, can we have a Game of Thrones moment? Must. Okay, all right, so what What did you think of the ending? Because I know everybody is, uh, like, pissed about it. If you don't want no spoilers, get off. I think that, or, and I plug your ears. in real time, too. I said it in real time. When Arya slayed Mr. Mans, Mr. Icicle, that should have been it. The Night King. The Night King. That should have been absolutely it. To me, that was such an epic moment. I you think the show should have ended? I, never, I think that should have been the last episode. Why? After the long night? Mm -mm. Because you mean to tell me Jamie and damn Cersei get to go just be engraved in this damn rocks and that's how they go out? Oh no, I was so mad. I wanted I wanted Jamie and Brienne to be a Dang. thing. I wanted them to be a thing. Like he had my damn. down bad though. Ooh, and Loki. I also wanted Brienne to give old boy, you know, the yes. redhead from the, the wild from the wildling. Like sis, give him a chance. Like he wanted you bad, sis. Like bad. he wanted to climb that little tall tree. She could have been in the WNBA. Oh. Like he wanted every bit of her. Oh. They would have some strong kids. He was ready. They would. He was ready. I would, I, I would have, I would have picked him. I would have picked him. The, the, in the, what was it? What do we figure out was called in the multiverse? Maybe they are. <laughs> Maybe they are because. Maybe they they, are. Nah, she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't feeling his ass. She wasn't feeling his ass. Brand, and were you mad at how Daenerys burned everything down? What you say? Were you mad at how Daenerys burned everything down? No. I, I mean, wasn't mad. Well, right, go ahead you go like i'm mad, mad that she didn't let the people get out and like i get it because they played her for so long that i think she snapped i just want her at the end i just wanted her to rule some shit that's all i, I mean for me i understood like to me i was like she is a targaryen after all yeah she is a targaryen so i was like did y'all really expect any different? Loved her. That's my girl. Right. That's Down. my girl. I was pissed at that. The witch, what she did in the first season, like, you did that to her man. But, like, the witch also made sense. She was like, girl, your, your son was about to be do, doing all this and that to, to all these other villi villages. And I'm like, you're right. Yeah. You're right. But, oh, God. Yeah, that, that show has me in a, a chokehold to this day. The episode that disturb me the the most was will always be the red wedding I, mm, my first season watching i said that but rob's ass deserved to die because why did you go marry that girl no, why, and, and even if you did why were you honest about it his ass deserved to die i'm I, sorry he did he did i just i'm like damn catlin Sis, go get your other kids. Where is everybody? Go, go, go! Find your two young sons, or go get your damn daughters, or right. something. Like, that, like one. Go get your, go get your kids, sis. Are, are so i listening to it. The wolves is gone. I was so upset. I, I was, I was pissed. And you know, in the book, certain other things happened in the book. Like, Catelyn, like her, like her. All right, so in a books, like Catelyn, her corpse was found and she came back to life and she was like killing people or something like that. I didn't read the books, but I found that out in one of my, my little Reddit groups. Um, but Rob's ass deserved to die because you should have never married that girl. And you could you could have waited until after this entire war, but they was losing anyway. Y'all was winning battles, but y'all, Ty, Tywin, love him. He's one of my favorite villains really? in that show. Yeah, because he was just, he just had like, like, I don't, like, he was just, he just had that power. Like, he, he was a damn boss. He was really running everything. He he was. Facts. He was. But he knew that the, the Stark boy, as they called him, was just winning battles and wasn't going to win in the grand scheme of things. And he was just too damn honorable, like his dad. Like, Ned, you should have lied. Absolutely. You should have lied. And he, I, Joffrey's yeah. death was my favorite. <laughs> Who's? Joffrey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was savage that was savage but i also never felt like it made sense because i thought i didn't what happened with um who was it sansa's like, like lady whatever like what's his face's girlfriend so 
Oh, oh, the old lady is the one that took the thing off of her necklace. Uh, oh, Lena? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, she took the thing off of the necklace and put whatever, and then poisoned Joffrey that day. Right. Like, Why, you thought I was going to let you marry him? <laughs> no, when I said that, I was like, oh. I'm like, I know that's right, Grandma. And then she, yep, I want to marry his ass anyway. That shit to Jamie at the end, I said, that was oh yeah oh that that was um he was sick he that, it was that was so satisfying that would be and, and like he was all nice like here you go i'm gonna just you, you know you gotta die but i'm at least please let you die in that peace part, that part like yeah thank you so much Bloop. amazing all right well we're let, let we have to binge the, the game of thrones one day or maybe house of the dragon when that one comes out oh yes we, out, okay? we have some recaps oh. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Yes, thank you so much for doing this. This was so fun. Yes, it was. Thank you so much for having me. I'm wishing you the best with the show. I'll, I'll I'll visit the vineyard someday. I will let you know when, please. And you know, we'll we'll, we'll figure out when the other shows come out. If you got any other good shows, let me know them. I got you. All righty, I'll talk to you later. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good. All right. Bye.